Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and happy Cinco de Mayo meets Taco Tuesday. What? I know, quarantine edition, of course. So what we're doing is I'm gonna make, now I'm using my O flavors. These are the keto pack that I ordered to try out. I really like them. Um, a lot. I'm going to maybe order some more, but I want to kind of use what I have just because they're a little pricey, but it's worth it. So I'm using the cornbread again today because I really like that a lot. I think I might buy a bigger bottle of that. However, you can make any cornbread you want. Just make some cornbread. And then we're going to make, are you ready for this? Taco Joe's. I'm gonna make like a sloppy joe sandwich taco flavor with some avocado and some cheese. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. So first up, I made already the recipe. I just made what was on the back of the O Flavors, not sponsored, but if you wanna sponsor me, that'd be fabulous. Um, the recipe, because I like that, it's made with almond flour, but cornbread, that's what you need, or a bun. You don't even need the cornbread. I just thought it would be delicious. If I had some jalapenos, I would totally throw some jalapenos in here just to kind of give this bread some kick, but I don't, so we work with what we got. Um, all right, so I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna show you how fussy I'm gonna be today, but you don't have to be, so give me a second. Got the oven to temperature. I'm using a pastry bag because I have a ton of these and I don't, ooh, don't have a ton of zip top bags. But if you have a zip top, you can use that, or a spoon, or quite frankly, just make a pan of, brown, of cornbread. But I wanted to make little buns. I miss buns. So I'm making it in here, and I'm just gonna fill them up with the batter. How many am I gonna get? Hard to say. I've never done this before. I did grease the pan really well. Oops. Um, so they'll come out, even though this is non-stick, sometimes keto foods I find tend to stick, and that's okay. Ooh. So we may not get quite a whole pan, and that's, again, okay. And then let's just do one more. Let's see if I can get, eek, one more out of here. What do you guys think? Maybe. Yeah, perfect. Now. Now I know. I'm going to tap these. I'm going to tap them really good on the counter. And then they're going to go in at 350 for how long, you ask? I have no idea. I'm going to start at five minutes. And check them every five to six minutes in increments until they look dry and done. I will show you the finish. The cornbread's still in the oven. I'm going to say about 10 to 12 minutes on that. It's been there about 10. It's got a few minutes left. Um, right now, I was just sauteing up some onion for my Taco Joe's. This is not necessarily keto. Does it fit keto? Yes. But is it strictly keto? No. Anybody can make this. The only ground beef I could find at Aldi, oh, was it pricey? It was, um, it's 100% grass fed, which is great, but that was $5 for a pound, a little more than I'd like to pay for 85% lean, but what am I gonna do? You get what you gotta get, right? And then you stretch it. All right, so I have the onions, and I will tell you my little trick, I chop up onions and I keep them in my freezer. And when I need them, I just grab them because if not, they'll go bad before I could eat up all these, you know, even though I just buy one onion at a time, unless I'm making some onion heavy food. But onions come with carbs, so I'm pretty cautious on those. All right, so we got that going. Let me check. Maybe they're not quite done. And then I grabbed some of this garlic to try. It's just organic, vegan, gluten-free garlic. It's um, pasted. Oh, neat. So I'd say that's like two cloves. I am gonna cook it up a little bit before I add the meat. Just kind of helps the flavor intensify. Be careful, garlic burns. Very easy, especially if you're chopping fresh. 
you really just want to let it toast up a minute and then add your other food or it, it will burn on you and then it's bitter but I'm getting ready to add a pound of ground beef to that that's the base obviously just like regular sloppy joes although most people probably don't put onions in theirs but I I like onion in mine so Namwich sloppy joe mix is very sweet there's a lot of sugar in it so that's definitely not something I'm eating and it's taco Tuesday so I'm gonna create a sandwich with tomato sauce and then taco seasoning that I made um, with you guys last week and I think the sauce will you know make it juicy like a sandwich um, it just doesn't have all the sugar in it that a sandwich sauce does. So I'm just going to let this cook down. Those are going to go about another minute. And then we're going to add all the seasonings and let it just kind of simmer and be happy. We like happy food, right? And speaking of, these were like 25 cents, something like that. It's an 8 ounce can of just sauce. Plain old tomato sauce. Which again has carbs. Now, if you're making homemade sandwich, I think you use barbecue sauce, which I could, I have sugar-free barbecue sauce um, that I could make Sloppy Joe's, and I might find a recipe and try that at another time, but I really wanted something taco-y. I also have some guacamole to go on top and shredded cheese. So let's see. I'm just going to grind this all up and let it cook. And those still have a couple more minutes. All right, I think I changed my mind. Instead of tomato sauce, I'm gonna use some salsa because I feel like that'll bring, you know, some better flavor to the party. And I have it, I might as well use it. It's just medium paste picante. And then some of my taco seasoning and then if I need a little more liquid I could add the tomato sauce to it we'll see so I'm gonna do like I don't know I think that might have been a tablespoon and a half what's nice is that the seasonings will soak up some of the um, salsa let's just put the rest of this jar in here shall we we need it to be saucy like sandwich guys all right there we go that's better and I may add just a little water and then cook it down we'll see but that looks delicious we'll just let it cook down a little bit yeah need to add a little water just to give it somewhere to go and the water will steam out and I'll clean out my jar with that little bit of water. There we go. So I'm going to let this simmer for a bit. Not overly long, but enough to kind of get the flavors woken up and the dried seasoning. Doesn't that look delicious? I did not add salt or pepper. Um, that's the taste. And there's a fair amount in the taco seasoning so I decided it didn't need anything but let's taste this while it's mmm guys that's really good I will probably open up and just add a little tomato sauce just to give it maybe a little more sauciness we'll see or I'll add some more water to it beef stock would be good beef bouillon I don't want it too watery though because I don't want it to sog up our um, cornbread. But look at these. Let's see if I can get one out. Or not. They're hot still. Let's see. I did a really good job of spraying the pan, so let's hope. That really good job helps me get one out. This one is kind of stuck. Ah, don't be stuck. 
we have a rule, no sticking. All right, I'm gonna get it out of here, don't worry. I'm just being gentle, here we go. And it's like a bun. So I'll take all of these out. I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit, do its saucy goodness, probably add a little more of the water just to make more of a sauce. Let it thicken. And then I will show you what a sandwich is gonna look like building it together. All right guys, here's the finished product. Here's my little cornbread, which can be used for any kind of bun. And I believe that pan is a um, moon pie pan. Um, so I got that, some avocado, my turk or ground beef, and then here's my sandwich. And I am super excited. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy, and you have a great Cinco de Mayo Taco Tuesday. Bye.